channel. It is Stephanie of Geeky Planning back with again for another video. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to print, cut, and examples of how I use um, a couple of different products in my shop. So the first things that I have to show you guys are the full letter desk pads and the half letter desk pads. I'm kind of like high very excited. This is like the one thing that I feel like the most amount of people can use because it can be used both digitally or physically or um, like you don't have to be a sticker planner person to use them. You can use this for literally whatever the heck it is that you want for your life or whatever um so yeah i'm kind of like very very excited for these guys so quickly, let's go ahead and kick it off to i guess like screen recording stephanie to show you guys how to print these guys and we'll be back for after they're printed and cut all that stuff so let's go ahead and just get on started screen recording stephanie back at it again for the little middle section of the tutorial hi hello how are you hopefully we're all having a grand old time so really quickly to start things off i just wanted to explain what you would get whenever you purchase either one of the notepads so or the desk pads I keep calling them desk pad desk pad notepad I'll use them interchangeably um, so if you were to buy the full US letter desk pad you will only receive one file and that one file is specifically for the desk pad itself and nothing else um, and then if you were to purchase the half letter desk pad you will receive one file that is the desk pad itself and then another file that is instructions on how to print or cut your inserts so really quickly let's go ahead and just get on started with the minimal notepad so when you get the full US letter desk pad, this does come with two pages that are exactly the same and this just makes it so you can print this guy double sided and have no worries. Um, it'll just go ahead and be printed out double sided. So I have a Mac so I'll be using a command P, but if you have a different software you can go ahead and use control P. Um, so the first thing that you want to make sure is that you check off the two sided blocks to make sure that this guy gets printed double sided. You can do it single sided. If you want to it's really just whatever is your cup of tea at this point um but i go ahead and have them at two-sided and then print out all of the pages for two-sided again if you really wanted it to just be single-sided you could just do one of the pages if you want to um and the next thing is in this preview section you're going to change the scale to a scale to fit um and then fill the entire page this is because these desk pads are not designed to be for any specific sort of inserts they're not meant to fit in a specific spot they're not specifically sized for anything they're mostly just to maximize whatever paper that you have and different printers do have different settings onto what ink bleeds they allow for paper especially at home printers um, it varies kind of a lot so for these you just want to fill them into the entire page to maximize whatever print settings your printer in specific has if you don't mind a little bit of cutting off depending on what your printer has you can go ahead and scale it to a hundred percent just go ahead and show you guys so for my printer it really doesn't show that there would be any sort of changes to the insert itself but if your printer does um by all means go ahead and just do the scale to fit and then fit the entire page so then after that we're going to go ahead and go back to this little preview drop down click that guy and go to layout and here you want to make sure that for double-sided printing it'll print so the top of the pages is on the same side and in order to do that for this two-sided section, you're going to make sure that you get a short edge binding instead of long edge binding. This makes sure that the paper gets printed so this is the direction that you're going to flip it over. Like, ham no, this is hot dog style. No, hamburger style <laughs> instead of hot dog style. If that makes any sense. I remember that from like grade school, but obviously I don't remember it completely. Um, so you want to make sure that it's short edge binding because this is going to be our pretend seam for flipping this guy over to make sure that the top aligns with both of the pages on our sheet and then the next step is optional and it will be the same for both the really for any inserts that are printed ever um, is for the layout just changing the media and quality so I like to make it so the quality is always at best um, just to give the best quality print settings um, Again, like this is more so up to you. I personally always do best whenever I am subscribed to the HP Instant Ink because it doesn't matter how much ink I waste, it's the same every single month. However, when I do have just like basic ink cartridges that you go and like replenish at like Costco or whatever store that you get your ink from, um, I would 
just change this to normal so I don't waste that much ink. It's really just personal preference for you at that point. And again, same personal preference for the paper type. I like to change these guys to specialty paper mat because of the paper that I use specifically. But if you're using a heavier type paper, I usually change it to photo glossy paper because that's the heaviest paper setting on this printer in specific. Or if you're using a more like glossy or shiny paper, you can definitely do like specialty paper glossy or um photo glossy paper and if I want the printing to be like almost I don't want to say almost non-existent but like at a semi-decently less quality with less ink I usually change it to lightweight paper again it just depends on whatever preference you have you can test this out as much as you want with your own printer um, but I do change this to be a specialty paper mat and then you can go ahead and just click print and you'll be ready to go Alrighty, and then moving on to the half letter printables, um, I did just want to go ahead and open up the printing instructions. It's basically exactly what I'm doing for this video, except I have like preemptively done a bunch of screenshots to show you guys what to do. So um, here are the instructions on how to download the file from Etsy. And then here is the start of the instructions on how to print it. And then it kind of just continues. And then instructions on how to cut, which I will be going over in the next section of the video with live action me but if you didn't want to watch this video honestly you could just look at this guy it is included with your purchase that way you can have it all the time forever so there was that guy and then going ahead and opening up the half letter page itself so this one was made landscape style again just for like the maximization of paper and it makes the most sense to have half letter be in this direction instead of in this direction like half long ways um, and again it's the same deal where you have the two pages of the exact same thing for double-sided printing purposes but you can print this out single-sidedly if you choose to and it's really the same setup for the entire thing so you can do command p or control p for both of them um, and then this one because it does go a little bit closer to the edges as you can see like the bottom of mine does get cut off so I for 100% so I definitely do have to do a scale to fit and then fit the entire page to get the entire thing on there and it doesn't change that much so again this is not sized to be a specific thing it's not a half letter insert it's a half letter desk pad so it's not meant to be a specific size so definitely do scale to fit and fill the entire page if you notice that some of it is cropping off um, wherever you start um, seeing the print preview on here. And again, it's the same basic setup where you're gonna make sure that you have two-sided clicked, change the preview to be layout, and then two-sided short edge binding. And then again, personally for the median quality, I go ahead and change it to best and then paper type matte. Um, and for these, I would personally say make it to paper type best all the time instead of just sometimes, specifically because this is more of a designed paper pad instead of just a plain lines only paper pad. And to have the best print quality also means that you'll be able to see the actual designs that are on it itself. Um, but again, it is totally a personal preference and you can go ahead and just click print and you will be ready to go. So that is it for the printable version of these guys. I did just really quickly want to note that with the full US letter desk pads, they are absolutely perfect for digital and printable planning use. I personally prefer to use those digitally so I can have something on the go wherever I go. I use GoodNotes on both my iPad and my laptop because they're easily synced to each other um, and it's super easy for me to hop back and forth, use them both at the same time, all that fun stuff. And it's my personal note taking app of choice. Like I've tried Notability, I've tried OneNote, and I've tried GoodNotes, and GoodNotes is for sure by far the one that I've stuck by the longest. I've had it since like 2017, 2018, something like around that point. Um, so to import this to GoodNotes, you're just gonna go to new and then import. And then you'll find it on your laptop under um, whatever it was called. So I'm just gonna like search notepad so I know. Um, I can just pick whichever one I want to search for. Oh. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up the minimal notepad. And then you have it here, easy peasy free to use. Again, it comes with two of them already. And the beautiful thing about this is that um, once you're done using a page, you can just go ahead and open up another page, as many pages as you want, and you'll just continuously have the same template of paper to use. You can go ahead and just write on it like 
as you see fit all that fun stuff and it's super easy to use super easy to do all that stuff i would personally 10 out of 10 recommend good notes for um like digital planning, digital notes, any of that stuff, but it is an app that you have to pay for. So obviously do whatever makes the most sense for you within your means, all that stuff. Um, so that is it for how to print the inserts. Let's go ahead and kick it off to Live Action Stephanie for how to cut them. All right, so now they are printed and ready to use however many you wanted to print. I only have one of each of them to show you guys for the right now, um, just because a little ways is possible for me, but also b like I did already go ahead and print and cut a bunch of like my one of to use um, in the next little bit of this video. So the first ones that I wanted to talk about with you are these two, um, where basically for the full letter desk pads, you don't need to print them. They're basically, or you don't need to print them. You don't need to cut them. They're basically all ready to go. So it's the full eight and a half by 11. There are no cut lines because there really isn't anything that you need to cut. And there is a little like grid space up here. Um, there's a little line space, a little habit tracking space, and then you have room for your entire week on the bottom. And the one that is meant to be cut are the half letter ones. So they're still printed on the regular eight and a half by 11, but for both the minimal and the designed version there is a little tick mark on either side of them to show you where the exact half letter dimensions are so whether you'll be cutting them either like by hand or with a paper cutter you can still cut them perfect every single time um i will hopefully be able to demonstrate both of them i really didn't think this through in terms of like how to show you how to cut them but we will get to that quickly so if you wanted to cut them with a paper cutter, um, I should probably move this guy out of the way. Um, you would just take this on your paper cutter, hopefully I'm like in frame. So yeah, you would take this with your paper cutter. Um, I'm just using a Cricut paper cutter because that is the paper cutter that I have of choice. There are a bunch of different ones and you also don't need a paper cutter to use these guys. Um, so with the two tick marks, there's an indented line in the paper cut cutter itself where the blade goes. So I just line this up with half of the line here and then half the line on the other section and then put this guy down and then you just slice right through it and you have the perfectly cut these guys, my paper cutter does definitely need the blade to be trimmed because it does look a little bit jagged, but you do, do still get the perfect cut either way with these guys. You still have like all of the boxes at the top to use. And then if you didn't have a paper cutter, this might be a little bit hard for me to show you guys um, just because of how I'm sitting. And I also don't want to like ruin my, what's it called? Like foam board that I have underneath. Um, but if you don't have a paper cutter and you do have either like a ruler and an exacto knife or a ruler and um, like just really sharp scissors, you can just take a ruler and line it up with the two indented marks, which is really why I have them here. Like most paper cutters, if you get one that's sized for a 12 by 12 piece of um, like scrapbook paper, you could just measure out the five and a half inches, but if your paper cutter only goes up to three, or I guess it's technically four, or if you don't have one, um, you can line it up with the tick marks itself. So if you're cutting this by hand, you'll just line up your ruler on both sides of the tick marks, take whatever blade you're using, your blade of choice, slice right down, and then, well, And then you have your perfectly cut. It's really not that perfectly cut because this ruler kind of sucks. Um, but then you can go ahead and cut it with a paper, not paper cutter, with an exacto knife and a ruler. That would work a lot better if I didn't have like this little bumpy thing. Um, and then if you did just want to go ahead and like clean it up so it doesn't look so smoochy, you just take these scissors or take a pair of scissors. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them that way, or you can honestly just cut them with these scissors to begin with. So that is how to cut the inserts for the half letter. And again, for the full letter, you don't need to. So let's go ahead and show you guys um, some examples of how I would use them. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed you guys in, hopefully. <laughs> Um, enough to where you can see the entirety of the paper pad. So my thought process is that the full letter version would be used less so for sticker planning people and more so just for the everyday person and the half letter ones would be used more for planner specific 
pre-planner type purposes um so that's how i'm going to be showing them to you guys today obviously you can use them in whatever way shape or form that you so choose so the way this is laid out is where you have an eight by four grid space over here uh like four line space over here a habit tracker with enough to mark four habits and then a this week monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday section um and then this is printed to be double-sided you can print it single-sided if you wanted to um and then it's the same thing with this guy i'm mostly just using this because i like to write on at least a couple of pages at a time um so i'm going to show you guys how i would use this guy with the minimal one and then how i would use the half letter one with the Bonito version as well so personally for me we're just going to pick a random week like i have june on my calendar so we're just going to go six what is that six to six twelve and then i'm just going to put six seven eight nine ten 11 12 cool so those are the dates so how i would personally use this is like if i am in school or if i have tiny humans or whatever it may be um i would use this grid space as like a color coding section so i'm just gonna go ahead and put like the yellow on that one and then the blue on this one because these are the two most highlighters that i had and let's just say that the yellow one is for biology and the blue one is for physics, right? We're just gonna use that one as a grid space. And then I'm gonna put this guy as like my main priority for the week. So I'm just gonna put clean out closet. Like it's front and center, I can't ignore it. It's literally right there. And then some habits that I wanna track are, let's say I wanted to like dust every single day. Um, I wanted to make sure that I'm eating my meal prep food. I wanted to study. Um, and that's basically it. So that's how I would like set up this little top section. And then again, since there are seven spots, it would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in this spot as well. There is still like enough space to like actually write like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if you wanted to. You obviously don't have to because there are just the seven spots there. And then you can just check them off as you did stuff or as you didn't do stuff if you wanted to. Um, so that's how I would use that little section. And then for this section, I would kind of go through just the beginning parts of my week and write things down as they came. So let's pretend that on Monday I had, I had an exam for a class and then on Tuesday I had like an exam for another class but I also had a paper due. And then let's say on Saturday I had to meet up with group project people at like 9 a.m. for like group project soon, which is literally the worst thing in the entire world. On um, like Tuesdays I clean the floors. Um, or I said Tuesday this Monday. On Tuesdays I clean the kitchen. On Wednesdays I clean the bathrooms. Oh, what else is there? Thursdays I clean the living room. Fridays. Is there any room stuff? My room. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's kind of how I would like start this guy off. And then let's say that for the this week section, because I do have a YouTube channel kind of thing, I would put make sure that like I filmed pull stickers because these don't have to go on like a specific day but also just general like things that say I wanted to like call my insurance for something um or I needed to like buy a toothbrush so it's kind of how I would just start writing these guys down and again because I have like my color coded section up there I feel like these two are for the same class and then these two would be evil to have an exam and people do on the same day but also like have had it happen and don't like it um and have that guy so it's kind of how I would use this one in like a very non-realistic way I guess I should have pulled out some plans too so. I'm just gonna like look at some other plans to like kind of see if this can be filled out in any other way shape or form like, one thing that is really important for me is like tv so let's say like on this day i wanted to watch the kardashians because it's thursdays why not um and then on like saturday i wanted to go see the lost city in like the theaters and then on sundays i usually plan and then i don't even know i have work on like four days at the week so i'm just gonna write like really big work 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 and then and i would typically like if i were to use this physically i would have it like either just hung on um the cork board that i have behind you guys or just like on my table next to me and then as the days go on i would just start like crossing things off as i see fit kind of a thing um so yeah that's how i would use the full-on desk pad version of these guys and then for the like half letter version i should have probably actually wrote my plans for that guy um so for so for the pre-planner pad kind of a situation i'm gonna get a smaller pad for this one just because i know i'm gonna write a lot more things for this one because i'm actually gonna be using this one for the time being i just totally pulled this guy out of frame oh. 
Okay, cool. Um, so for the this week, I'm gonna actually like write down the plans that I did for May 23rd through the 29th. I'm totally just gonna like fix the camera really quickly. And the same things, I would just write like the same days, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then for me personally, because I will be using this more for like planning purposes instead of, or for post planning purposes instead of like pre planning purposes, what I would do is because I have the week that this is going to be over here, I'm going to put Kit Moonlight Paper Co. Meadow Meadow. And then foil, green bundle. Because after this, I do have plans to pull up. like actually film a full on plan with me. So that's what this guy will be used for. And then for this section, because I'll be like not habit tracking for the first, like before the week happens more habit tracking after the fact i would put pull stickers up here so i know which days have all their stickers completely pulled and then also like if i did want to plan or track a habit for the week one track it one habit that i would like to put in my tracker for my actual planner would be miss flow came into town monday through wednesday so it's black guys and then for this little section or for this section i'm gonna wait until like after the end of this guy is already there so i'm just gonna like start writing out all of my plans of things that actually did happen for these days so on monday i'm writing on this monday new releases and first releases in a while well i'm like running out of space um this things I guess this thing's gonna work at the same thing, but I'm just gonna write them as separate things and then headaches. And then because I have one, two, three, four, five, six things on here, I'm just gonna like write a six and then circle it. So I know that's how many things that I have for the day. So when I'm going to plan out my spread, I have how many boxes I would like in a specific day kind of a thing. So then for Tuesday, I'm gonna cold brew. I really don't like this pen I got. It feels like too chunky in my hands and I'm not about it. Um, and I don't know where my pilot to too much. And then this day I watched One New Homecoming Warrior, which like, I'm a fan. Woo, Hoko, War. And then I worked some more on my shop. I finally finished Loki. Um, all the feels because literally the whole world is coming to an end and I was in my feels. Uh, Snacky Snacks. And then Super Smash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So again, I'm just gonna like highlight that. Seven. And then for movies, because I do care about movies a lot, I'm just going to highlight Wendy Will Hunting Warrior so I remember to use Angry Marquee for that guy. And then on Wednesday was filming day. And then I painted my nails. And then Cold Brew. Super Smash. Work. Super my feels. What if? And then I'm just going to put time. And then I did want to just like have some deco pieces still be in here, but also still be enough to where you have writing space within at the days themselves. So then for Thursday, I'm gonna clean desk, make cold brew, um, stubbies, and chips because my favorite pastime in the entire world. Then I actually had cold brew, um, switch time. Still in my feels, and two weeks, I'm still in my feels to this day, which is, I mean, I'm fine with it, but like also, I don't know what else I'm supposed to write in my planner. I'm just gonna put in my feels every single day, you know what I mean? Um, and then work, and then the Kardashians. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so I'm put nine, lit, lit. So then on Friday, again, work, immersive Van Gogh, oh, Van Gogh, which honestly was a waste of money, but it's fine. Um, cold brew, I'll talk about more about that in my plan with me, which hopefully, oh no, it will not be live before this video is, um, but that's fine. Um, I had sushi, which is my favorite food, and then smoothies. Oh, smooth. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, right, six, six things. And then for Saturday, I watched a simply stream. Um, I finished What If, which is kind of weird to think about, like, I finished two completely different shows in the same week. It's like, what else did I do besides watch TV, but also, like, I'm kind of here for it. Um, I had a cold brew, which is my favorite pastime. I worked slash through for the entirety of the day, and then I watched a lot of The Flash, because again, The Flash is my favorite show of choice. I watched The Last City, um, I cleaned, 
Yes, Royal came into town. Oh, I totally put Royal in the wrong days, but that's fine. Um, pump gas. And then started feeling okay, and then just started spiraling again. So I started feeling okay. Um, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then finally for Sunday, <laughs> I started watching WandaVision, which I'm like almost done with my Marvel rewatch, but also like not even close because I won't finish until Doctor Strange comes out, even then like a couple days after, um, which I'm kind of like bummed about because I would like to finish like the current list of things that are out the day before Doctor Strange comes out on Disney Plus, so that way I can watch on Disney Plus and it'll be like on schedule with my um, like Marvel rewatch time, if that makes any sense. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, towards end, I got very sloppy. Mostly just because I started talking. It's not the best combination. Um, so I watched The Lost City, and I do want to change this really quickly, again, just because, like, I will be using this in my pre kind of a section. Um, I can mark that as well for the last two days, and I did already go ahead and pull the stickers for all these guys, so now that that part's figured out. Um, because I, again... I'm using this for a, like, post-planning purposes. Um, one thing that I did want to mark is that this is going to be top meaning that monday is going to be if monday does have a full box it'll be at the top of the spread so it'll be top middle bottom top middle bottom top no top middle bottom top middle bottom bottom because this one has um a double box kind of a situation so i don't think i want to do that because saturday doesn't need a box at all and i only have nine full boxes so i'm gonna put that like right here nine full boxes so I guess like the this week section is more so like notes to me personally so because the spread only has nine full boxes and I want to use all nine of them or like the kit only has nine full boxes and I want to use all nine of them I want my sidebar to be on the left hand side so I'm gonna like put an x over here so we're gonna put Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday I guess this is more like an insight as to how I film my like plan of me kind of a situation so if this one's gonna be on the top I think I want top middle middle bottom top nothing here bottom top middle bottom one two three four five six seven wait no one two three four five six seven eight nine okay lit lit And then I'm just gonna like color in the squares kind of half-assedly so that way I can have a little grid space of like what I want my week to look like and then I'm gonna put like some highlights of the week because I was super in my feels all week. I did not write that correctly but that's fine and then I drew like hell. The entire week in my hand is cramping up for it now but that is fine. So yeah wait no I guess the biggest would be that I released my first art set which is like <laughs> hello to me um hopefully somebody buys it but that's besides point so yeah I guess that is a little bit of a demonstration as to how I would use this guy um as you guys can probably very obviously tell it's like for me personally like there are two very distinct ways to use this like one you could use this guy to the fullest honestly you could just make this your planner if you wanted to like if you just wanted to have like a throwaway planner that you can use it's cute for a little bit but also you can switch to a more like minimal style if you felt like it kind of a thing um you can just use this as an actual planner and just chuck it whenever you're done or like throw it into a notebook throw it into a bag whatever it may be because it's literally a half sheet of loose paper um or you can like have a whole desk pad version which like i would again just have this and like I either hang it up on the wall in front of me or just have it just permanently taped to my desk so i can constantly see it kind of a thing and they are both functional for very different uses um and you can kind of just pick and choose whichever one works the best for you but yeah that is how i would print cut and use my desk pads in both the full letter and the half letter versions hopefully you guys enjoyed um if you guys have any other like tips and tricks of what you want to see me using with them with or like what insert you would like a rundown of next let me know in the comments down below and I will totally make sure to do that for you as well um and everything that I would use will be listed in the description box down below for like printer, ink, paper, all that stuff will be listed in the description box down below. That is everything for today's video. So as per usual, let's just pause, take a bit of a breather, take a bit of a chill pill and deep breath in, deep breath out and repeat after me. I will choose to be happy. Um, 
I feel like saying happiness is a choice is like a choice of words in and of itself but I'm very much so like of the mindset of you attract the energy that you put out into the world so like although it is a lot easier to just think of the pessimistic thing first it is a little bit fun sometimes to be an opper opportunist optimistic type person and choose joy for yourself choose to be yourself as authentically as you can be and choose to do whatever makes you happy whatever makes you sane whatever makes you feel good and flattering so I don't really know what was going on with my camera again hi hello it's place over stephanie here really quickly because the outro just cut out 100 percent completely but i just thought i would hop in here really quickly to say that as per usual just do whatever you need to do to feel less amazing and spark the human being and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys